Hi Discovery people, did you know that since the launch of the Discovery Foundation in 2006, we have supported the training of 500 predominantly black medical specialists within the public health sector in South Africa. We have a very, very impressive list of alumni who have actually served on panels and have given advice on how to improve on what we are doing. We are sure that it has been a decade of success, but as we know, when you are dealing with social problems, you can never reach a point where you say, we have arrived. The horizon keeps on growing, but our determination to serve the South African public and to improve our resolve remains undiminished. We consolidated our commitment to the National Development Plan 2030, which aims to eliminate poverty and reduce inequality and unemployment. And one of the goals of the plan is to fill posts with skilled, committed and competent individuals, thereby increasing the capacity to train health professionals. And thus, in our selection process of grants and awardees, we have considered an important aspect of the long-term vision by supporting postgraduates, in particular, PhD or doctoral support. Very grateful to Discovery for giving me this opportunity to perform research in Boston. I get to work at the amazing Massachusetts General Hospital. This research is focused on HIV and metabolism and looking at how to improve the longevity and the quality of life of patients with HIV. When Dr. Thomas returns, a research will be invaluable to the 7.7 .7 million South Africans on antiretroviral treatment. I'm gonna help in the small clinics, in the rural hospitals. I'm gonna stay right here. Although we have not been able to host our prestigious annual Discovery Foundation Award Ceremony, the 2020 and 2021 grants will help boost academic specialists and rural medicine in areas of critical need. The Rural Institutional Awards go to institutions that support training and capacity development in rural and underserved areas. And so the Discovery Foundation shares this vision of an ideal landscape of medical professionals in South Africa, which should have enough specialists for the country's population and feature a demographic which is representative of the country across race and gender. In order to achieve our goal, we need a collective effort by the public, the private and the non-governmental sectors to strengthen our healthcare system for the collective good.